What's up guys, Lazy Money UK here, helping you build up your bank balance online. When used correctly, paid surveys can make a significant contribution to your monthly income. But if you have experience taking surveys, there's an incredibly high chance you've been lied to or ripped off multiple times. Some of the ways that surveys can screw you over include telling you that there are no right or wrong answers, making you answer qualification questions for 10 minutes and then disqualifying you without any payment, chaining two or three surveys together then only paying you for one, taking you to a longer survey than the one that you clicked on, and in the worst case scenario, waiting until you have completed the survey to disqualify you for no discernible reason. Do you think that they delete your data when they do this? I very much doubt it. I'm not saying that two wrongs make a right when it comes to lying. What I am saying is, if you don't take advantage of surveys, they will take advantage of you. In the hostile environment that survey providers have created, you need to learn how to defend yourself. That's why I've assembled this guide to help you be successful on survey sites. Let's get started. You're going to want to invent a persona for yourself that will be accepted into the most amount of surveys possible. Once you've settled on the details of your character, it's best to stick with it. If you give inconsistent information like age in different surveys, then you could get caught out. Without meaning to sound like an edgelord, companies are basically looking for consumerist NPCs who are easy to separate from their money. The character you create should be in full-time employment and have disposable income. You need to not be involved in industries which are relevant to the survey topic because this could bias your opinions. Always choose none of the above for this question. They want to know that you're the person responsible for purchasing decisions in your household. It also helps massively if your character has a kid, because then you can answer many extra surveys about Barbie and Trolls the movie. Think of how many advertisers there are trying to target children, and how this translates into more survey opportunities. In some cases, they actually expect children to complete some of the survey. Right. That's a bit weird, isn't it? The next thing you need to do is figure out what the survey is going to be about as soon as possible so you can express interest in these products. Look for clues in the qualification questions, such as conspicuous or repeated mentions of certain product categories. This list mentions video games twice, so I'm predicting the survey will be about gaming. Our survey said... This one made no attempt to be subtle, Who's going to read that and click no? Be sure to say that you haven't done any similar surveys in recent months. They ask this to prevent you from doing the same survey twice, which is something I do regularly. Companies often make the mistake of cherry picking people who are already sold on their product, rather than getting feedback from the people they want to persuade. You need to show that you're in the market for the type of product that the survey is about. If they ask you when you last purchased something, Choose the most recent option. When asked to take the products that you own from a list, try to do as many as is reasonable. The same goes for activities you did recently. Just don't select things which are statistically unlikely. Good. That was a test. Always express that you're open-minded when it comes to purchasing certain products or brands, and never say never. The final thing you need to look out for is any attention checks. These are questions put in place to make sure you're not just clicking on random answers. Just be sure to at least skim read the questions and you'll be fine. Thanks for supporting Lazy Money UK by watching all the way to the end. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I'll see you next time with some more Lazy Money Making Tips.